um, my announcement that I want to make before we really like get started into everything is so you guys have been hearing me talk about my podcast that I'm starting and I was going to record for my podcast um, during the morning call. Like I was going to kind of do both and I decided not to do that. Um, so I'm not going to be recording my podcast live on here just because the two different groups of people I'm talking to are told are like very different. I feel like I want to be able to only focus on you guys when we're on here in the morning where it's like, I can kind of give an example of business or I can, you know, talk about how it relates to what we're doing here and what we're trying to get past. And I want that to be my ultimate focus when I'm talking and on here in the morning. And um, then I want to be focusing on just like general people wanting not a mediocre life when I'm doing my, my podcast. So um, I'm super excited. I'm like so glad because it literally was inspired by everyone on here in the morning, realizing like this is what I love to do and just starting out. But one thing that I want to quickly say that I had this like aha moment. So um, I'm really viewing this as like, I'm starting my own business. Like I really am. Like I created a business name. I opened a bank account. I got a website, a domain name, a logo, business cards, designed banners, marketing material, contacted coaches and people that were helping me with business plans. Like I have done this. So I've, I've noticed two things while I'm doing this. One, it's freaking expensive to start your own business. Like it's insane that Q is only $40 to sign up. And then you literally like, don't really even need to invest in that many things that we say like right away. So I've invested in tons of different things where I'm like, Oh, another thousand dollars. Oh, another 500. Oh, another 300. Oh, another 400. Like it's crazy how much money it actually is to start a business. And I've never been so grateful for Q that it just gives you the spot. And it's like, you really don't need much more than 40 bucks to sign. When I signed up, I only bought, paid the join fee. I didn't even buy products because like, I couldn't even afford them. And then I didn't invest in anything extra with like Instagram or the app or anything like that for, a, for like months and months. So, I mean, the app was free back then. If the app, if I had to pay $10, I would have done that because the app is well worth the 10 bucks. But I, so I had that moment of like, this is crazy. But I also had the moment, the aha moment. The second one I had was, okay, like, so I was listening to that book, Believe It This Morning, that everyone read and a lot of you are done with it. And so I'm listening to it and I'm hearing your story and I'm really like relating my life coaching business to her story of her dream of doing this makeup company. Like, I'm like, yes, this is me. Like, I'm going to work. I'm going to do this. I'm going to whatever, like working so hard on that. And then I realized this morning, like last night I told John, I'm like, I really feel like I'm done with everything on my to-do list that I had to do. Like, I need to sit down and like really journal and think like, what do I need to do next? Because I think that I've accomplished like all the major things, you know, like logo pictures that like, I've done all the things that I was thinking of. So I'm like, what do I need to do? And so then when I thought about it, I was like, oh, and the things that I need to do are now the scary things. Like all the other stuff came easy for me. Like, oh, this is, this is so easy. Like I'll create a logo, how fun. And I've been doing it all, but it's because it hasn't been scary and it hasn't been something that has caused me to have fear. So it's been simple. So now when I thought about it, I was like, oh, now I actually have to start doing it. Like I have to do the podcast and say what I am, like what is everyone's call to action? Like this is my life coaching program. Do you want to sign up? I have this many spots. Like this is how much it costs. Like what is that next step? And that scares me like, whoa, because originally I'm like, I'm just starting out. So I could charge people like, I mean, my coach that I pay for my business coach, who's a, a life coach. I pay her $2,000 a month and she talks to me for two hours a month on Zoom. So I pay her $1,000 an hour or yeah, $1,000 an hour is what I pay her. And I'm like, 
well, she's been doing it longer, I think. So I probably should only charge like a hundred an hour. I don't know, 50 bucks an hour. That's like what I'm thinking, you know, right away, like playing it small. But April said to me, it made so much sense. She was like, why? Why? What do you mean? Why would, if she's charging a thousand dollars an hour, why would you not charge a thousand dollars an hour? And I'm like, oh, she's like, you've been doing this for five and a half years. Why would you not? Like you've proven to be able to help people grow in their life. Why not start big? And so it's like, I didn't because of fear. So I'm now like, kind of like, whoo, okay. I got to do the big scary thing. I feel like I like hit a road, like it's not a roadblock, but I hit like, I had to slow down to go over rumble strips for a second, like slow down. Like here comes the, like the rumbly things. Like, okay, I need to slow down and go over this like speed bump. And I related that to Q and I related that to anything you are trying to start in your life. Like you're going to start eating healthy. You're going to, a lot of us are doing Q fit. So it's like, okay, I'm going to start working out. I'm going to get the app. I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to like, that's what your focus is. And it's like easy at first until it gets hard. Like, just like we talked about yesterday with marriage, like you get married, it's easy. And then it gets hard or a relationship like, oh, this is easy. And then it gets hard. Like there's always going to be the thing where it gets hard. And that is what holds us back. And so when you get to that point where you feel like adversity or you feel this like tension in your body and this like anxiousness and this like, I don't know, or you're avoiding doing something. If you like need to do your IPAs and you're avoiding them all day long, it's like, that tension is what is going to happen in anything you do where you try to get better. And what separates people from achieving and not achieving is the people who go through it anyway and overcome it or the people who stop and let it make them sit there and then their car stalls. And so in her, in her book, if you haven't read it, believe it so good. It's going to tie into what Aubrey's talking about today with believing in yourself and believing something can happen. And I never, like the reason why I'm even saying this right now is because I never thought ever that I had an issue with belief or with fear. Like ever, I never realized that it was me that had those issues. I was like, oh, I, yeah, I believe I can do anything because that's naturally my thought, but deep down in my soul, it's what holds me back. It's what makes me have excuses. It's what makes that little voice inside my head start talking crap to me. Like, you can't do that. You're not good enough. Oh, you think they're going to pay you? Oh, who do you think you are? Like that voice in my head gets so loud and it literally is driven by fear and not believing that I can actually accomplish and achieve what I want. So whether you're trying to grow your network marketing business, or you're trying to grow your marriage, or you're trying to gain muscle and confidence and all of that in the gym, like it's all the same. It's all the same. So whatever's holding you back is going to hold you back forever. That's why people jump from thing to thing to thing. I have family members that do that, that are like, oh, now I'm doing this. Oh, no, just kidding. Now I'm doing this. Oh, not anymore. Now I'm onto this. Oh, started a business. Nope. Now we're doing this. Like it's because it's like the second things get hard. That's when you're like, I bet it would be easier to do this. I bet this would be better timing. I bet this would. Okay, let's go do that. It's like, that's the cycle that you're in all the time. And there's a cool video I saw on TikTok a few months back that I'm remembering right now. And I'm going to send it in the breakfast club chat so you guys can see it. And it shows you success and what happens. And it's so freaking true. So my inspiration for you today and my hope for you today is to find the things that are holding you back in this business that are getting you to the next level, that it's a limiting belief, that it's a scarcity mindset, that whatever it is, that you're able to break through that and move on to the other side and get past that. So I just wanted to say that real quick um, because I was just listening to my book and I was like, I got to say this and like make this correlation between the two, but um, it's April 2nd. Did anyone get an April fool's joke played on them yesterday? I did. Angela, what was yours? What happened? Did you fall for it? Yeah, totally. So I woke up yesterday morning and I went to go to the bathroom, which is the first thing I do when I wake up and the toilet seat was taped down with clear tape, the toilet seat cover. Uh -huh. And then 
I went to go grab toilet paper and the toilet paper was taped down. And then the handle for the toilet was taped down. And then I went to go brush my teeth and the faucet was taped and sprayed everywhere. <laughs> and then I went to go put my deodorant on and my deodorant was taped close. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, did it. Uh, yeah. That was my that's dad. So funny. And it would be like, what about you guys? Anyone else have a prank plate on them? Ashley Cheetah sent me a message and said, girl, did you mean to post those nudie pics on your stories? <laughs> and then it was like space, space, space. So I couldn't see it. So I was on my phone on my way home from Bible study, walking in the house. I get this message and I see that she sent that and my my original thought was like, what? Like nudie pics, like what nudie pics? Like what do you do? And so it like freaked me out. So I like clicked on it. Like, what is she talking about? And then it was like, haha, just kidding. Happy April Fool's Day. I was like, I hate you. Like, it just like freaked me out so bad. Like what is on here? So she probably got a lot of people. That was the only one that was pranked on me. Um, one time when I worked in my old company, um, uh, we wrapped our bosses, all of our bosses stuff that he had in his office. We wrapped it up in wrapping paper. Um, every single thing like in his, in his drawers and his whole desk in his chair and the light and even the, the blinds that were in there. We like, it was literally everything. It was so funny. Um, but okay, let's talk about celebrations for a few minutes and then we're going to turn it over to Aubrey. She has a really inspiring message for you guys. Uh, what are we celebrating right now? What awesome things happened to you yesterday that you want to celebrate today? I have one. So with Taryn's help, I signed an amazing new girl who I'm so excited about. She was actually trying to get on the call this morning, but she had to go to the library to print up her, um, all of her paperwork to do her launch call today. Oh. So she might be on at some point, but her name is Tabitha and you will be seeing her a lot lately or, you know, soon. And she's gonna be amazing and I'm super excited. Can you and so briefly tell everyone how you found her? Like how so, long have you been talking to her for? Um, 36 hours. <laughs> okay. So how did you start talking? So she messaged me at like 11 PM on the last night of the month, looking for sales for her It Works company and just cold messaged me. And we just got to talking and she, mm -hmm. You know, I had asked her about swapping orders. So we were going to swap orders. And then she started looking at the products and got really interested. And then like a couple hours later, she was like, you know what? This is like totally more in line with like what I need in my life. And um, yeah, so yesterday she joined. Oh my gosh, that's it. Skylar, you just said you were going to be quiet. That's not being quiet. Okay. Mom! Go. Oh my gosh, she's like, <sighs> like we, we can still hear you. We can hear you saying that in my ear. That is so cool that you flip the script. <laughs> like that's super cool. And congrats to you for being bold and asking the tough questions and being bold. I don't know if you would have had the same result if she would have messaged you maybe on the 10th of the month. I think because you were up late working on the end of the month and it was your clothes and you were like, Oh, I need this. Like, I need this. Like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? You got their message. Like, Oh heck yeah. Another person to message and talk to. And it's like that desperation and that boldness sometimes comes in at the perfect moment. And I truly think that the reason why we sign more people at the end of every single month is because we're bolder and we don't care so much about what's going to happen. We're just like, I on the prize. I need the sale. I need the sale. I need this. So you will be 
way more annoying. You will be way more bold. You won't say things that you won't say if it was on the 10th because you're like, this person has to sign up. So that's why I'm excited that the new comp plan is going to roll out soon in the US where we're going to have five closes a month every single Friday plus the end of the month. Because if you can get to your rank by this Friday, next Friday, you're getting that check. So if you can get to your, let's say your highest rank is executive. If you can get to executive by this Friday, because your whole team has auto ships go off and all their customers have auto ships go off in the very first week, then the next Friday, you're going to get 250 bucks for being executive. And if that week you go elite because you signed new people and you're helping them close by that Friday, then the next week you would get an extra $500. And then if you go bronze by the end of that month, because you have all these people now signed up and they're pushing for what they want, then at the end of the month, you're going to get the difference between elite to bronze, which is like a thousand dollars. You're going to get that again. So it's really cool that you're not just like waiting until the end of the month, but think of a new ambassador who's going to join like your girl, Tabitha, Angela, who joined yesterday. It's like, Hey, guess what? Let's get you to executive or let's get you to builder or let's get you to pro by next Friday, which is the ninth, you have one week from today, we got like, it has to happen. Because then on the 16th, you're going to get all the bonuses, and you're going to get paid if you can get her to executive by the ninth, then on the 16th, she's going to get her $500 bonus for executive and $250 for being that. So this brand new girl who you just promised that you were going to help her make $1,000 already made $750 of it one week after you told her it was going to happen. So what does that do? That instills belief that gets her out there talking because now she's seeing success that gets all the people watching her to be like, holy crap, I need to sign up and do this. So then they're signing up and they're running momentum. And this is literally how it goes and trickles on to the person after person. So right now it's like, okay, we just got to get you there by the end of the month. And that's all what we all do, including me. I'm like, you have, you technically have until, you know, the end of May to hit this thing. If someone doesn't hit executive, if Tabitha doesn't hit executive by the end of May, then she is not going to get, like, let's say she gets her, she'll, she'll get her $500 on, um, on June 4th, she'll get $500 bonus. If she hits executive at the end of May, like her window allows her to, and then she'll get $250 on the following Friday, which is the 11th. So do you really want to tell her like, hey, sign up with me. We're going to get you promoted in your window. And on June 11th, mid-June, you're going to get your money back. Hell no. Like what mid-June? Like girl, I need money now. I can't wait until mid-June. Like what is mid-June? Are you kidding? It's like, it's, they need to be paid now. So like, this is going to be so crazy when you get to tell her, like when the live, when the weekly pay starts happening and it goes live, it's, it's going to change everything for us. And because now we're going to be more bold every single Friday, we're going to be more bold every single Thursday because it's the second to last day of the close. So, you know, that's crazy. Congrats to you. That's so cool. I can't wait to see what she does here. Um, so cool. And you didn't sign her because of me. You, she was already signing before I even talked to her. So don't say thanks to me. It wasn't thanks to me. It was thanks to you. No, but you helped. Ziggy just said, hi, Auntie Tailwind. Oh, hi, Ziggy. <laughs> hi. I love that I'm everybody's auntie. It's like my favorite. Um, okay, what else are we celebrating? Something had good had to have happened yesterday to someone. I have something. Yes. So it's not business related but it kind of is. Um, do we have any guys on this call? <laughs> no. Okay. I was able oh, to um, snap my bra strap to the second. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that's exciting. It was too loose. Oh huh? my gosh. I said, that's exciting. I know. I know. I was like, yay. That means that something I'm doing is working. Yeah. So go QFit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You should make a post about that. <laughs> I know, right? I should. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. And put like on there, like at the top, like 
for women's eyes only or something, because then it'll like make everyone read it. Like if you're like, this is only intended right. for women, scroll down because then people are going to be like, what is she about to say? And like, look, <laughs> that's so funny. That's good. good I job. also used my, um, my new IPA sheet yesterday for the first time. And, um, it took me a little bit longer to do because I was just kind of trying to get used to it. And by the way, this sheet that I'm using is, um, I took it from uh, Aubrey. So if anybody has questions about it, they can ask her. <laughs> but um, it, it has times on it. So it really helps with like blocking out how much time you should be doing each task. And it did take me a little bit longer because I was kind of getting used to the flow, but it, I felt so good about it after I was done with it. Mm, awesome. Yeah, Aubrey, please share it in the Breakfast Club chat. Yeah, that's actually something um, I was going to say I celebrated. Um, I had a, a goal I'm trying to hit as far as number of uh, new connections and invites this week. And I'm halfway there. So I got to crank it up this weekend. But yeah, I think um, I think you just have to figure out what works for you schedule wise, you know, but, but yeah, I'm actually going to share that PDF, um, in the last little bit. So everybody can just follow along with it if they want. Awesome. We would I, love that. I don't know which one you downloaded Alicia, but I changed it a little bit again. <laughs> well, I, um, it's the one, whatever the one you sent me, cause you sent me the whole Excel okay. file with all of them, but, um, I changed it too. So like I took yours and changed it to kind of like meet what I felt like would work better for me. So, cool. but yeah, I love it. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I love sharing things that we find. So please, if there's ever anything that anyone does where you're like, this is really working for me. I really like how this is share it. There could probably be someone else who wants it. Perfect example, Aubrey and Alicia. Like that's awesome. Um, okay. Any other celebrations? Last call. Okay, the last thing that I want to celebrate, I know I keep talking about my podcast because I'm just really excited, but I am like hardcore celebrating, like literally told John last night, I was like, I am so cool. I literally said that and he was like, okay, what? And I was like, no, I am so cool. Listen to how this message sounds. So the reason why I'm so cool is because my podcast was approved to be listed on iTunes. And I don't know if you saw my story, but that's like a really big deal because they do not approve everybody. And I had to one, learn how I even get approved. Like, what do they look for? And so there were all these things that I had to create and do and like get it all ready. Like even like coding stuff and all these things I've never even heard of and like artwork that's specific pixels. And it was, it was literally nuts. And uh, I want read, like all these blogs and videos of girls saying like, this is how I got my blog featured on iTunes, like all this stuff. And literally I approved, I submitted it the night before and it said it could take up to two weeks. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to submit this now. It's okay. And like literally the next day I got an email from Apple and it was like, congratulations, your podcast has been approved to be featured on iTunes. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I was so excited. But the reason why I feel so cool is because a girl messaged me my first person, April, my first person. I was gonna, I was gonna send you the screenshot and I I sent, I took the screenshot, so I'm gonna send it to you. So we can document it because I'm documenting all this stuff. But my first person replied to my story, a girl who I didn't know who she was at all. And she said, how do I listen to your podcast? I would love to listen to it daily. And so I felt cool because the message I got to send to her was, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, especially now that they're, um, that I'm brought, that I, that iTunes, that I'm on iTunes or something like that about iTunes. And so, and then I sent her the link and I was like, this is so cool. So I'm celebrating the fact that I'm like doing something scary and I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's working. And, um, yeah, like, I just feel like, holy crap. Like I, the girl from believe it in the book, like, her, like, I can't even imagine how she felt like leaving Sephora and leaving QVC and, le and being like, 
it's happening. Like, oh my gosh, you know, like that feeling of like, this is actually happening. That is just like the coolest feeling to ever feel when you can loose, tighten your bra strap, or you can fit into those jeans, or you can like, that is like the coolest feeling. So if you haven't felt that about your life or anything in a while, like hang in there because you are going to feel it, especially if you have the belief in yourself that Aubrey is going to talk about. So Aubrey, take it away. Teach us all the things that we need to know. I need to believe it. And I'm so glad that you're like, you know what? We're talking about belief because I was like, oh my God, yes. <laughs> this is totally what I need today. Tara, you're, you're going into robot mode. Is anybody I, else here, Tara? Taryn? Oh, maybe not. Maybe you're okay now. Am I robot mode? Can you guys hear me? You seem fine. Okay. You were like, meh, 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 meh. Oh. thank you. I couldn't <laughs> understand. <first. So. laughs> um, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So um, I wanted to talk about how to believe in yourself with everybody. And I love Taryn that you talked about Jamie um, because her story is absolutely incredible she for those of you who don't know her story does anybody not know her story it sounds like a lot of people have read her book does anybody not know her story raise your hand if if you don't if everybody knows her story then i won't share it okay well, it sounds like everybody recorded. knows her story it's being recorded so if you want to just like super fast okay just a quick snippet of of what she did has done that kind of thing um she made cosmetics on her counter and just had this belief that she could, you know, make a business out of it. Um, she is not the typical person that you see selling cosmetics. Uh, she was told she's too big. She didn't have the body shape that she needed. She was told by top executives all over. Um, she, she, she didn't fit the mold, I guess you could say. Um, she kept going. She had people after people after people tell her, no, it's not working. Your products are not worth it. Uh, fast forward and she sold her company for over a billion dollars. Um, it's, it's incredible. So um, I'm gonna give you five things, okay? These are, these are five things and this is actually taken from part of her story. Five things to believe in yourself. And I'm actually gonna give you guys an app and then I'm going to share uh, my PDF on the IPA that I use. I get it done in 60 minutes. Um, I have each section timed out and it's really rotated around making new connections, inviting people and following up and using the three way. And, and those three things I track every single week. And my goal is to really focus on the action and not necessarily the signups per se yet, um, but more just this is the action that I can be consistent with. I can't necessarily control if people sign up or not, but I can control what I'm going to put in action wise. So first thing, uh, five things, five words you want to write down. First word you want to write down is momentum. Okay. Momentum. What is momentum? Momentum is just winning a little bit every single day. Um, last time I was on here, I talked about having a minimum that you will do. So you feel accomplished and like you put some momentum, even if it's a little bit in every single day for me, that's doing one post, inviting five people and doing five follow-ups for you. It might be inviting one person and one follow-up, but you have to subconsciously, I love how Taryn talked about the, the struggle that you are going to feel at some point, your brain is comfortable at a certain level. It is. And, and you don't know it. And it's your subconscious brain that you kind of have to reprogram to say, it's going to be okay. Like we're, we're going to be okay. But it's been programmed because of the experiences you've had in your life to say, last time we did something like that, we got hurt or it didn't turn out the way we wanted. And so why, why is this time gonna be any different kind of a thing? So momentum, okay? Make it simple and make sure you celebrate what simple thing you do. 
um, I'll give you an exa another example is I make sure that I listen to um, a meditation, a self hypnosis meditation every single morning before I do anything. And um, I'm going to give you that app that I use. I love it. Um, and it works really well for me to when I wake up, like a lot of people think I wake up and I just get out of bed and I'm like happy and joyful and positive and I'm not. <laughs> I wake up and I'm like, ah, I'm tired. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And then you listen to something like that and all of a sudden you do feel that way. You do feel like, gosh, I want to go tell people about this. Gosh, I want to share this with people. Um, but that's not the typical, you know, part of our brain that wakes up. Okay. So number two, integration. I want you to write down integration. Um, how many times do we have a good thing happen and we are okay to say that was a good thing. I feel good about it. And I celebrate that. Or how many times do you go, ah, that was okay. It wasn't that big of a deal. I'm not going to celebrate it. How many times do you do that versus how many times are you like, man, I'm really proud of myself. Okay. The actions that you do, the people, how many times do you celebrate the number of people you invite to calls, the number of people that you ask if they're open, you should celebrate those and you should internalize to reprogram your brain to say, it's okay to celebrate that. It's okay. That's an okay thing. Okay. Cause that helps you feel momentum and that helps you want to keep going. All right. Um, number three, feedback. Um, you, I, I wouldn't recommend just going up to any, any cold market person and asking for feedback, but there are people in your life that you probably would feel okay going to and saying, Hey, you're seeing my stuff on social media. Hey, you're seeing um, the things that I'm doing in my life. Can I get some feedback? Can I get some honest feedback on how I can get better? Okay. On how I can get better. And you know, if it's coming from a place of love, right. To improve. Okay. Um, what am I doing? That seems right. Ask the people that you know, and that you love and you trust what you are doing that seems right right. Okay. Not necessarily tell me all the things I'm doing wrong. I want you to ask it from a perspective of what do you see me doing? That seems right. That seems impactful. That seems positive. All right. Okay. Um, number four, priming emotions. This is my favorite one. Uh, Taryn said, I'm so bad at celebrating. Honestly. Yeah. I think everybody is. I think women just naturally, we, we don't want to do that. Right. Yeah. I'll drop them in. We shall drop them all in the chat for you. Um, priming emotions. This is probably the most important one. What is priming emotions? Priming emotions is you feeling emotions before they happen. Here's what I mean by that. If you have a certain goal you're trying to reach, maybe it's a certain ranking. Maybe it's a certain action. Feel the emotions that you would feel right now before you actually get there. Why? Why do you want to do that? The reason why is if you do something in advance, you will feel that energy. You will feel that vibe. You will start to be drawn to accomplish it even more. Um, an app that I love is called Primed Mind. Primed Mind. Um, it's 60 bucks for the year. And it is um, amazing and awesome at self-hypnosis and that meditation. It's by a guy that I know named Elliot Rowe. Um, he's actually not too far from Q headquarters. And he has worked with thousands upon thousands of celebrity, big name um, to help reprogram. And what he allows you to do is he allows you to go through that, that um, priming emotions He's got determination courses. He's got melting away anxiety courses. He's got all kinds of courses that you can listen to every single morning, 15, 10 minutes to get that reprogramming in. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Last one. Number five, to believe in yourself. 
you have to allow more love in. And this is the hardest one. This is the hardest one, especially for women. Um, maybe you have noticed that you have never really felt love in your life. Anybody, anybody feel that way? Anybody have an experience with that? You want to share? Me? Feel love for yourself. Yeah, Taryn, go ahead and talk oh. about that. <clears throat> um, like, have I ever not felt loved in myself? Is that what you said? Cause you kind of like broke up for like one second. So have you ever, I'm, I'm talking about allowing yourself to be loved, allowing you to love you is what I'm talking about. Yeah. I mean, I did, that was me. I did struggle yeah. with that over the last, like, I mean, for a very long time. And I just got over that in August. And for me, it really stemmed from my childhood. Love. And my dad leaving me and abandoning me and like having all of that, like I, I wasn't good enough for someone to stick around. So then my whole life I've been like, I need to like perform. I need to do, I need to earn my worthiness. I need to earn people taking me into their life. And so for a lot, I would get mad at myself. Like I obviously was a bad kid or like he didn't want me. So like, I wasn't good enough. I didn't do it. So I really think that that's where it's always stemmed from being so hard on myself. But yeah, I really didn't even feel like I was worthy of love, like at all. That's awesome. That's, thank you for being honest um, about that. I think, I think everyone has that kind of uh, barrier. So why, why is that important? That's important because that ties to your vision, if, if you believe it or not. Um, everybody has you put together a, what you call a vision board. I like to call it instead a battle board. And here's why I call it a battle board is I want to see, like everybody puts pictures of what they want to accomplish or what they want to earn or what they want to achieve. And instead what you should have pictures on there of it, they, they kind of have pictures of the end thing, Right. The end thing that I want, the end thing that I, that I want to achieve, accomplish that kind of thing. What you should have pictures of instead are emotions that you will feel or uh, things that you will do when the battle gets hard, when the process gets hard. What are the emotions that you will feel to keep you going to eventually getting to feeling those priming emotions? So you may have a picture of Jamie up there. And say, you know, Jamie was rejected for, for years and months. And they told her she had a big face and they told her she had a larger body. And I want to be resilient like that. And when I'm resilient like that, I'm going to eventually accomplish this. So I would challenge everybody to put together what I call a battle board. What will you do on the days that you don't feel like doing the IPA all the way? I'm going to do... I'm going to invite one person. I'm going to do one follow-up and I'm going to do a post on social media. That's my battle. That's my battle that I will keep going with. Right. Okay. All right. So love points to vision. And let me kind of walk through that. When you truly allow yourself to feel loved, you feel an undeniable connection that there is a bigger picture that you are called to do something very unique, okay? And when you really grasp that and you really understand that, you understand that there's a level of love beyond just loving yourself. You can call it, you can call it God, you can call it law of attraction, you can call it whatever you want. But when you feel that level of love inside yourself, you are driven by a purpose and a vision to impact other people for the good. And you use this business and you use these products to do that. And you want to share that love. You can't contain it. You want to share that love with everybody and anybody that you come across. Um, Angela, you're the, that's a perfect example that you shared. You were like, I have this amazing thing. I feel the love. It's blessed my life. I feel better. I feel more love. I have this community. I have this team that helps me feel love. 
every single morning, every single week. And I cannot wait to have you as a part of that love. That's my vision is to bring more people into this loving morning community, right? If you don't feel that love, you don't really see the vision and you don't really want to put together that battle board to get up on the days that you don't feel like jumping in the morning call, right? Okay. So love is so key. And, and it's important that you understand that concept for vision to take yourself beyond the actions that you're doing right now, right? Okay. Or get to a place where you want to do more action. And I want you to wrap um, yourself around this concept going off of love. You are unique. There, it, there are, how many people do you guys think there are in the world? If you just had to guess. You can just drop it in the chat if you want. Or you can say it out loud, uh, either one. 17 billion, wow, Taryn. <laughs> Did you Google that? <laughs> I'm just I kidding. Swear, oh, I was like, if that's really it, I swear. I just like, that number just popped into my head. <laughs> you're, off, you're off one digit, 7 billion. 7 bi so yeah, you were close. close. You're close. <laughs> that's why I was like, did you Google? Seven billion, and there is not one person that is the same as the other. There's not one face that I see on this call that is exactly like the other. There's not one personality that is exactly like the other. So you are unique. You are unique. And those five things will help you believe in yourself. So let me recap those again. Momentum, okay? Little, little, small wins every single day. Pick one thing that you want to do consistently every single day. I shared mine is listening to a meditation every single morning, okay? That helps me feel momentum. Um, number two, integration. When you have a good thing happen, let yourself celebrate it. Let yourself be okay to, at the end of the day, say, I'm really proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself for inviting this many people, for making this many new connections, for following up with this many people. Okay. All right. Number three, feedback. Find people that you know, that you love, that you trust, and ask them what they see you're doing that they feel um, seems right for you. Okay. Number four, priming emotions, find a way for you to feel and visualize what you're trying to accomplish before you get there. Okay. See yourself on stage. If that's the thing, feel the lights, feel the lights, feel the heat from the people that you're talking to. And then when you step off stage, somebody comes up to you and they give you a hug and there's tears in their eyes and they're saying, thank you so much. Unique you. There's no other person out there like you. And you are the only one who spoke to me and resonated right here in my heart. And they give you a hug and they're crying and they're like, thank you so much. You've blessed my life. Like that, that moment, feel that moment before you get there. Okay. Number five, love. When you feel love, when you allow yourself to feel love, you see that attaches to your vision and that attaches to your want to impact other people and use this business to do that. Okay. All right. Um, you can't help but feel when you really, really tap into that love, you can't help but feel that that rolls into momentum. Then you start feeling wins. Then you want to share even more love, like get to the point where people are so grateful for you that they can't help but not message you. They can't help but not hug you. They can't help but not say thank you so much for you, for doing the things that you're doing. Okay. Is there anybody who has somebody like that in their life or has gone through an experience like that? I have something to share that just happened. Um, I some people know this, some people don't, but I've been kind of um, in the midst of a breast cancer scare myself right now. Um, 
I go in for a biopsy on Tuesday, but um, I was connecting with um, a girl that I've been uh, building a relationship with online. She, we went to the same high school, but we didn't really know each other in high school, but um, she's also been kind of going through the same thing. And because of what I've been going through, I've been doing like a ton of research on um, hemp oil and cancer and its benefits in like tumor shrinking properties and like all of that stuff. And so I decided that I was going to gift her cause she was, she's not in the financial situation right now to buy anything, but I decided to gift her a bottle of fuse um, because she was having a lot of pain and um, her scans and everything, they couldn't schedule her to like mid April. So I told her the best thing that she can do right now, you know, this is probably the best thing she can do right now. But, um, you know, she just sent me like, I went and dropped it off at her house. And, you know, she just sent me a whole bunch of messages after that, just telling me like how grateful she was for me. And, um, you know, really, it, it definitely made me feel good. And it made me feel like, although I can't control what I'm going through right now, and what's happening to me, at least like that's something that I can do for somebody else that, you know, will make it a little better. I don't want to watch Love that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Anybody else? <clears throat> and then I'm going to uh, share my PDF and we're going to go to work. I'm going to sprinkle some love. Okay. All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and share uh, this PDF. Um, Taryn, can you let me share? Possibly. Please. <clears throat> awesome. Um, so ho hopefully this um, is helpful for you guys. So um, has everybody wished everybody a happy birthday today yet? Have we done that yet? On social? No? Let's do that. Let's take a couple minutes. So I'll share my PDF. Um, this is how I utilize the IPA. And um, we'll celebrate, we'll celebrate all this stuff. Um, and we're going to sprinkle some love. So let's wish everybody a happy birthday. Go to your Facebook, see whose birthday it is. Just wish them a, a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. And I usually end with the question, anything fun you're doing to celebrate? to get the combo going. Take a couple minutes. I'm going to time us. All right, we got about one more minute. And feel free to use keyboard shortcuts. For those of you who know how to use keyboard shortcuts, you just go into your phone, you go to general, and then you go keyboard text replacement. You can put this message together so you can just drop it in really quickly.
All right. Okay, drop in the chat how many people you wished a happy birthday. And let me, yeah, there we go. Drop in the chat, celebrate those birthdays. When you drop that number in, like I said, let yourself feel love for sharing that love. Okay. Be okay with that. Be okay with that emotion. All right. Nice. Five, 14. Awesome. 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 Seven, Angela. Good job. Linda three. Good job. Okay. So um, let me share this really quick. And then um, this is the PDF that Alicia was talking about. Um, so I spend five minutes wishing people happy birthday. Then I go to yesterday's post and I engage and I send appreciation to people who engaged with my post yesterday. Then I spend 10 minutes you using that repost app that I walked you guys through or posting something uh, from myself, um, a reel, a picture, whatever it is you want to do. Um, then I spend five minutes engaging with today's post. Um, I love the nugget Ashley shared where she makes 10 new connections with people um, and sends them that message. Your profile came along my feed. I love your posts. They're really inspiring. And I say, we need more of that these days. Tell me more about what you do or has your work been affected by COVID at all? Or how are your kids holding up with changes in school? So I make 10 of those every single day. Some days um, I have time and I'll make 25 or 30. But like I said, give yourself some celebrations. Give yourself a, this is what I'll do. Okay. If I only have 15 minutes, um, then I'll do one of these. Um, and then I go to my, um, I, I invite five people. Here's a script that I use. I'm doing this thing to blank. Maybe it's earn extra money. Maybe it's drop inches. Maybe it's uh, feel less pain, whatever it is you want. Um, if you'd like to learn more about it, let me know. Happy to send you info. If not, no big deal. Either way, it's great connecting with you here. Um, and then I got this from Taryn. Great, are you free tonight at nine? Love for you to be there. Check it out. If you aren't available, no worries. Here's a replay you can check out. Or I have a replay. Usually I'll say, you know, if it doesn't work, I have a replay. I've got a really busy day tomorrow, but we'll plan on circling back tomorrow morning. Have a great rest of your day. Um, and then follow-ups. I say, as promised, circling back. Did you get a chance to check out the video? Have a favorite part you saw? Spend 10 minutes on that. Um, and then I'll list out, you know, the five people that I'm following up on that. Um, and then Friday, on Friday, I, I do different follow-ups. So the first Friday, I'll follow up with a, hey, so-and-so just shared this story. So cool. You know, I'm just wondering. Th this, this is for people who have said they were open, but something got in the way, right? Um, for people who never responded, I just, just asking a simple question of how are you is a great question to ask people. Um, and then check in on current customers on that. So I, I love to have a celebration count at the end that I can celebrate the action that I'm putting in. And I think that's really, really helpful. So I can drop this in the breakfast club if this would help anybody else. Um, this is a little different, Alicia, I think than the one I sent you. I simplified it a lot than the one I sent you, I think. Um, so if this would help anybody, you're more than welcome to use this. Um, last thing, we got three minutes left. Think of somebody you can send a message to for the sole purpose of just helping them feel good, okay? Last three minutes, let's send that, and then uh, we can go to work on the IPA after. Um, I will go to work on this IPA right after. I do my IPA right after from, from eight to nine. So if anybody wants to stay, you're more than welcome to stay. And um, I'm going to go through this IPA. You can stay and, and jump on this. Last three minutes. Think of somebody, think of people, we got two minutes, okay? Yeah, I'll send it in the breakfast club chat. Two minutes, I want you to think of someone you can send a message to for the sole purpose of helping them feel good. All right, last two minutes. 
let yourself and let other people feel love. It's so needed these days. Okay, last two minutes and then um, drop in the chat and share who you sent it to. Oh, Taryn's mother-in-law. Awesome. I just sent mine. I sent mine to my sister. She's my best buddy. She's got four kids. She's got a lot on her plate. Anybody else? Who'd you send it to? Linda. Oh, my daughter taking chemo, my sister on dialysis. That's awesome. What did you, what did you tell them, Linda? What did you, what did you say to them? Erin, my best friend, Ashley. My daughter, who is very motivating anyway, um, I just try to lift her up and tell her how much she has motivated me. She actually teaches the cycling classes that I go to um, when she can. And my sister, who is not doing very well, she's my oldest sister. I just told her how much I loved her and how much I miss her since we can't see each other right now. And um, I usually try to, you know, give her a call or send her a note almost every week. That's awesome. Sorry, I better stop talking. I can start getting emotional because my, my daughter just found out about her um, cancer and they try to decide what to do. It's, it's on her thyroid and they don't want to take it out if they, because she's so young. So she won't have to be on medication. So she's going to do some more tests and, you know, going to try to decide what to do. And she's got two young boys. Wow. We'll keep her in our prayers for you. Thank you. For sure. Uh, Angela, my brother-in-law in the hospital recovering from surgery for pancreatic cancer. Uh, Alicia, my, my, oh, mother-in-law. I was like, what's Mill? <laughs> Who's Mill? <laughs> mother-in-law, mother-in-law, awesome. Man, you guys have some, some awesome mother-in-laws. I do too. I should send her a message too. I was just with her though, and I gave her a hug, so. Um, all right, how did, like, does that feel good? Do you feel that love? And do you wanna share that love now? Does that impact you to want to impact other people? If, if, it, if it does, let that in and keep letting that in, okay? Keep letting that in. All right, that's, that's all I got um, this morning. Um, Taryn, I'll turn it back over to you and uh, hope that was helpful. Hope everybody got some good value out of that. It was, yes. Thank you so much, Aubrey. We love you. Thanks for doing that and giving to us. Um, so cool. So I hope everyone has an awesome day. Um, Aubrey, where are you going to be for the IPAs? If everyone I'll, wants to hop on your Zoom, yeah, I'll start my Zoom and then I'll put it in the Breakfast Club. Okay, and everybody perfect. So if anyone wants a place to hold yourself accountable and go on there and just you know show up and work, awesome. Um, thanks for doing that, and we will see you guys on Monday. So happy Easter, and see you Monday. <laughs>